Welcome to the channel, Mac Dr. Bill. I want to start by saying I thanks and I appreciate every single one of you that have subscribed, like, and comment on the channel. Stay tuned. Today we're working on the CRX episode nine. Let's get it. All right, boys. So as I told you, I'm trying to do daily uploads. Today we have the donor floor right off the back here. I went out of the troll of camera. I set it up, took it from where I had a storage, put it here. This is the whole floor of this car the whole floor um today what we're speaking we're speaking metal analogy what's that we're gonna discuss different shapes different parts that holds the floor and makes it as strong as it is so with that being said let's get started all right boys so right now you're looking at an oem crx donor floor we have the whole car in the channel a couple months ago we cut it gutted it and this is what we have here right off the back we're gonna start by this way here that floor on that c-rex i'm gonna show you exactly where it's cut if you guys see that shape remember that this hole and that this is that hole right there and that so somebody cut it there I'm debating whether I just gonna cut the whole part and replace it complete. What I do know is that I'm cutting the tone off this high up. We start from here, all the way up here. Being that the other tone on the other one, they cut it and messed around with this. This is missing, always there, but it's gone. So I might just cut it off. My point is, when I start cutting in this episode, I'm cutting all this, making a line with a Sharpie. Keeping this tunnel. I'm gonna cut it this high, because over there we got damage all the way up to over here to rust. So I'm gonna try to cut it all the way over then the other one, so that we could simply overlap it all the way. Now this part, see how it's solid, rust free. The other CRX, that one, is gone. Right over here, all the way over here, all this is gone. No sense in repairing it, no sense in putting fiberglass, no sense in welding, you cannot weld something that's gone. Point blank. So, this is the part that this is metal analogy for, oh yeah, that I don't know much about the automotive industry. The way this work is simple with this car is the multi-layers. Multi-layers, what do I mean? I'm gonna show you exactly. It's perfect simple. This is multi-layer. This is the outside wall we need to cut. It's got an inner wall. And then it has the racker panel. This is your racker panel that goes over here. Which I need to do repair on the CRX. But this one, if you see, is gone too. So I don't know what to do. I'm gonna probably save sections. So if I have to do sections, I could repair it and fix it. What I plan to do is these metals where it join over here. So it's trifecta if you want to call it, because it's got three different layers. You got your inner, the metal barrier, and your outside, which is the racker panel. That's how it makes a strength and it makes it strong in the car. So Rather than me just cutting here like I was gonna do in this one, in this piece specifically, we're gonna open up here, all the way down. So I'm opening that up. And what I'm thinking of doing is, since this is that high up, cut this that high, pause, until we get it mounted in that car in the next episodes and we figure how much we're gonna cut so rather than cut a little bit like most people want to do metal to metal scene that's not gonna work here i'm sorry it's not gonna work so we have to do what i have to do we have to do a frankenstein job pretty much pause so i gotta go this high up over here all the way up cut that round shape that i need Detach this part. This is the tunnel. This is the floor pan repair 
replacement that we're using so simple we're gonna cut it so we could start measuring on the other one what we're gonna do what we're missing but this is a perfect sample on why i'm cutting the way i'm cutting this is gonna look oem completely so that's the best way to go there's no way to put it i'm gonna take my time i'm gonna put in the work but we're gonna get it done so like i said we're trying to we got it open here this metal i'm not too worried about this piece i don't really need these so i could just trim it here cut it i got a welder spot remover bit that could just go with the whole simple and open it if i have to we'll talk about that but the plan is that too simple open here save this we don't care about this cut all the way this back all the way this high you always want to go high up the smaller just because your cut is here you don't cut right there because you cut right there when you go metro you might be short so you always want to cut cut higher better than do more cuts on the end they do one cut and mess it up so we're gonna take the shape oh yeah with the floor take the whole floor pan with the all seat bracket mounts obviously so the plan is to remove the old ones so eventually on the crx i'm gonna have to remove the lines the system lines are there now and this wall since it's rusted like all the way to here this is rusted it's not nowhere in the shape of this so we're gonna have to just trying to take this one off of the old one and eventually open it from here save this piece so that we command this new one into the one and weld it like it goes so that's one two this is all the parts in the body that have multi layers i'm gonna show you right now i love and this is a perfect sample this car is cut so we could see different layers different parts that i'm talking about the floor has got two pieces right off the back it's double layer don't be full so we gotta call double time and it's double time that we have to work on the floor they also have these channels or subframe bar if you want to call it that's what the floor pans connect in the other one somebody had cut it in half so now i gotta figure out the half that i need to cut from here save it so we could cut both halves and get them welded together which most likely will be right where that band is i guarantee it those are the different multi-layers the scenario and this part of the firewall which that's what this was you got three layers as well one two and three so this is not a simple to look i got a lot of cutting a lot of thinking i might have to go back and forth um cutting with some other source of uh tool until we get it open but i'm gonna take my time we get it detached i want to explain to you the metal analogy behind the car industry how they prep and build these cars so rocker panels which is the side walls are three layers firewall floor subframe is three layers floor to bottom pan is two layers clearer you see there's two layers right now so got a lot of protection we got a good floor this half we're not using i do not want to butcher the whole car i explained that in the video many times somebody else could have gone crazy Be like no i'm just gonna put the whole floor that might be fine if that's the case if you need to but if you don't need to we're not gonna win that like the set says if it's not broken don't fix it so pretty much we're saving the oil spot we're repairing the part this needed and it's gonna look oem by the time that we put this it's gonna have all the shapes then it's from the inside everything oem from the bottom of course 
Everything looks so young, which that's what he wants. We're gonna have to pressure watch her this to get rid of the grease and all that on the cotton crap at the end. But we have OEM shapes on the bottom. Rather than that, we don't know what to call that. So yeah. We'll start working and um we'll come back and see uh bits and bits and pieces of how I'm doing this step by step. Like so I'm gonna show you some of the supplies I picked up that will be needed in this restoration. We got way more, but at least for this. We got a double-sided rotary spot welder quarter. Some of you might be familiar with it, some of you not. You pick this up at your uh, local hardware freight. And these are gonna be in case I need it. When you grind down this to the burr metal, see if you can see it, focus, focus. The welding spot, this gets in there. And it cuts it out. Cuts it out, cuts it out, cuts it out until I get the part you need clean. So I have to follow that method pretty much. All the way down. Over here since it's all rusted. I might have to uh, cut this section of the record panel. So this is straight. So we'll see when we get there. I know I have to worry about getting this part detached. This I'm gonna have to cut it flush. And then trying to get this off little by little, however I can. And one that I cut off on the CRX, I debate whether I need the inner barrier or not. So this is for that. It works in this kind of welding spots. This is what I have to use if I have to detach this from this part, which I'm not, because I'm gonna cut it higher. And this, if we have to on the other one, we do. But on this one, I have to detach it. I don't have to detach it, but in that spot, that's what you wouldn't need, this right here. Also, to grind down the metal, I got these. I don't have a straight cut in this because it's too much sparks. You guys see my videos. So this is perfect for those spots that you want to get in. You know, go a flat this grinding and bending. And it could get in those spots you need to get a lot safer that you couldn't get with a grinder this because when you get with a grinder this or cutting this and it gets in a corner, it gets jammed, it gets a ricochet, it could break, a lot of stuff. This is meant to take more um endurance. Like if you try to get rid of this glue, OEM glue, this is perfect. With this you could send it. See how it just easily goes to the shapes. This would take it to the burr metal. So I got this for the burr part that we need to do for the burr metal. Also to clean up the floor on the CRX before we do any of these installations. So uh yeah. And you already know we have uh your cutting this temp pack. This is the one that I use from Harbor Frey. I usually go to like eight hardware, but each one is like 150 plus tax. So for like seven bucks, you pick up 10 of them. Can't beat that. And as last, we got the uh, flex coat welding wire. This one is 0.30. So one thing I want to mention when you buy your welding wire, flex wire, make sure you match your tips. If you're using 0.35 or any lesser, the wire is not going to go through it. That's the difference. So you always want to match that with that. This is all at your local hardware free. Now that I'm sponsored. But that's how I get by on a budget. So it's pretty much everything that we need supply wise. So I'm going to start getting this started. Let's get it. Alright, so it's getting a little darker. I'm still here. This is how I'm going to be doing for this video. It's like clips that I'm going to be adding for the next couple days. So, and I put them together. This is where we at. I took out the uh, OEM seam sealer. So you guys could see exactly the metal. It's just like a fender. Yeah, see that double line? And how is this mounted right now? For the heroes in the channel that they talk, you know, they think they know body work. If metal to metal is strong, why did this overlap? 
so that you could remove jobs and it makes us stronger. That's the answer. Like I'm trying to say that goes with the layer that we have to remove. So I got to cut past this. Exactly the sap shape here. And the other one is cut here. But I'm thinking that rather than cut it here and trying to weld this to do it cleaner, um, I'm just going to cut this whole piece off. Like I said, that way we mount it in the CRX framing correctly. Mount it in the back, mount it in the side, mount it on the tunnel. It's going to take me a little bit. So I'm showing bits on pieces because if I start showing you guys even on time like me cutting this, trying to detach this, trying to detach that, cut this and that's gonna take forever. So um, yeah, just bear with me, tag along for the ride, and uh, I hope this learning experience is a helpful one for you guys. So yeah, all the excessive glue, I took it out. This floor, when we put it on the CRX, I plan to leave it like that. In case that uh, most likely I repaint the color inside the hatch, I mean the sear edge to the yellow, it's gonna come out cleaner rather than the use the uh, detonating sound. This one is pretty much off. Pretty sure I could get it off by hand now. Some pieces I'm gonna have to chisel away. But already a lot of improvement. Just like that. Gotta get rid of it. We're not gonna need it. Obviously, we need to weld some places, so this is gonna be an inconvenience. Got most of it out. That last little bit. I'll just set it out and clean it up. All right, boys. This is pretty much already set. I removed all the sand, sound detonating from the front and the back. Decessive glue that it looked funny So that way when we clean this floor, I'm gonna rinse it out before I start doing any cutting But um, yeah, just to show you guys The condition on a new floor. This is what's gonna go on a C-Rex All right, as you have seen, I cut off the record panel. Right at this point, I cleaned off whatever I could. I was cutting off, but came to mind the hold up because this is where you jack up the car and it's bad on the CRX. So I'm gonna try to save this inner wall since we're doing the whole replacement on the wall. So that way we put the whole floor pan we everything OEM as much as possible. So I'm definitely picking this up tomorrow. I know I said that. I just simply can't stop myself. My father used to say rest in peace in Spanish. No dejes para mañana lo que puedas hacer hoy. Meaning, don't leave for tomorrow what you could do today. So it's so meaning, and you know, something has been sticking with me for years. So something as simple as getting this done right now, it's a big plus get me a little bit more points tomorrow to plan up how I'm gonna cut this we step closer so we're definitely picking this up tomorrow yeah seen this is not bad little patina right there I could clean that up with the grinding disc or with the other disc wheel with the soft one the inside is good so that's what we need so I'm definitely saving this might have to clean this outer shell so it connects with the other one like we plan to We'll see if we get rid of this inner piece. We much likely will have to do that tomorrow. If I could, I'll take it off right now. And you know what? We're gonna take this off. That way, straight wall. Before I'll stop one more time. Knock that out again. One more thing that we gotta do that.
we'll see you tomorrow All right, let me show you what we're doing. So the seat bar over here, I cut it in half. I simply, what I did, I moved this line, tied them up. I cut off the top of the floor and left that wall. We gotta just clean it up. We cut it from the side. This is where it detaches factory. We got a little bit more here. That's where it cut and it joins factory. So I'm gonna cut that. And show you guys what this piece look like which is gonna get replaced with the new floor pan the way that i cut it the way i thought of this is gonna be beneficial for the car being in this situation but i want to show you guys what we were working with that was the floor bar right look at the brackets gone look at brackets on this side brand new so this crs look bad but it's not as bad as it look it was just one side so that's what we're looking for at the end. That's the result. We want that to look just like that. Move around, just see how we got no rust. Now look at this side. The record panel had damage, which I already knew. It was already detached from the bottom. So I'm gonna have fun replacing the record panel at the end. Just to show you guys that I don't sugarcoat anything, I don't hide anything. We go with the repairs as we have to. So in a case like that, what do you guys do? Scrap the car? junk it no over here my channel mac back to build we do what we have to do to make them cars back to oem and simply just be pimping them you know what i'm saying so just hang on and we're gonna get this piece a little bit more cut off on the side i gotta move these lines more up but it's not gonna bother me i'll show you guys probably how i do it once we cut it I'll show you guys this part and uh We'll take it from there, let's get it. So we could get the whole piece, that's what we joined the new piece, so I don't want to go past that and the sidewall. That's where the replacement OEM end up, then you remove this floor by factory. So, I'm going to take my time trying to cut it off, let's get it. All right, so that's the cut right there. We got the inside barrier, which we taking off on the second piece. On this one, we're gonna keep it. We got the barrier of the wall we're gonna save. Over here, we still gotta clean up and remove this part. But this whole part, this whole part over here is removed properly that one was to the new one we could just attach it with this right on and in the future when we get record panels we could cover this up and join the two together and seal it up it's funny how all this work it just show at the end the real result but we're gonna put in the work on it all right boys so I end up cleaning a little bit more See how square. I remove any runs that I seen. These I cleaned it up a little bit. I'm gonna end up getting welding primer. Or primer that's weldable. 
And um, yeah, I'm gonna get all them areas, at least on this pillars, because the racker panels, they are gonna end up getting replaced at the end. These are no good, no sense in fixing it. So talk to the owner, we're gonna get them when the time comes. We're gonna do the floor, and then after we'll cut off the sections that's back, and we'll repair the racker panels. Right now, I don't wanna go crazy cutting extra stuff there, I don't have to. So I'm doing the floor so we could put some strength back in the car, get it strong, and then in the future we could work now on doing record panels in the C-Rex. But uh, I'm stoked, man. Getting one step closer to start cutting the floor and throw it in here. All right, I'm gonna show you the progress, boys. We got this part already cut up and set. This is the original piece that's gonna go on the replacement. Cut it from the back and everything. Back. So I'm starting to cut it here, little by little. It's multi-layer, so I gotta take my time. Gotta go a little bit down here, down here. These are already cut here, but also gotta get cut through the back. We almost got the four replacement pen cut off. So I put you in a little time left so we could see how we detach this a little bit. Might have to flip it at the end and cut the back to get the rest of it. Let's get it. All right, boys, we're looking at the floor pan, the new replacement floor pan. Finally off camera cut it just to show you how much a pain on ass that was, how many layers, and why didn't record the whole thing. It would have took like hours. See the multi layers we were speaking? So yeah, this is the bottom of the inside of the top from the back of the driver's side. I had to cut it separate, it detached from the bottom, it seemed sealed. Just cut it here, safe to here, from what we done. Looking at the inner floor, the new floor, with the new wall parts. That's what the new top look like. Still got a little cleaning before we install it. Like the side, this metal, I gotta decide what I need, what I don't need. But this whole floor is getting replaced over there. I still got some more cleaning to do, but this is gonna go there. If I could throw that real quick just to show you, I probably will. All right, boys, just to give you a general idea, I still have a lot of work to do off camera. Floor pan is in. I still got some trimming to do on the side, some cutting, some more cleaning in order to make it fit in there snug. This is the cleanest way to do this whole floor pan replacement without doing a patch here, a patch there. That you can visually see anything and we could see see where everything welded tag it and that's gonna look oem all right i'm gonna wrap this up here this episode episode 9 stay for episode 10 where we actually will be starting to throw the floor back hopefully again got lines wiring tied up here and there because i didn't want to take it apart so all this stuff could be molded back within time, little by little. Nothing that's harming anything. The only solution I had, had to improvise. You start taking wires, lines and stuff. Next thing to you know, it's a full project car because you done stuff that you can't come back so quick. So, however, that's the new sidewall of the side of the tunnel, the inside of the record panel. We got your new piece of the tunnel and we got that floor pan so we'll leave you guys with that keep that as a thought floor is already separated this is no longer needed this part right here i saved it separate this is a separate part because this is the part that goes over here replacing so I got that at the end when I have to work on it. So with that being said, I'm gonna wrap it up here. I wanna thank and say I appreciate every single one of you for subscribing, liking, and comment. Thank you for staying tuned. Till next time.
Peace.